Hi, welcome to another PlantBid tutorial. With this tutorial, I'm going to cover how a nursery can update their inventory and upload plant images to plantbid.com. So the first thing we do is we go to the plantbid.com site, either by typing it in the address bar or using a bookmark. Hit the login button and type in your username and password and hit the sign in button. When you sign in, that'll take you to the dashboard. The dashboard has got a bunch of handy stuff on it. At the top, there are plant requests where landscapers have submitted requests through PlantBid for items off of your inventory. And at the bottom, there are image requests where landscapers have asked for images of the plants in your inventory. So to go and update the inventory, we can hit this link over on the right on the dashboard or we can always hit the link up here in the navigation bar. This is the inventory page. The page is divided into a general section at the top here and then the inventory itself down at the bottom. Up at the top I can see that this inventory has 169 items in it and was last updated September 11th. To the right over here I can see that there are multiple pages. I'm on page one right now. I could hit this link to go to page 2, and I could hit this link to go to page 9, which is the last page. Now going through page by page is sort of a tedious process, so I might want to use the filter box to type in a plant name and see just the subset of the inventory that matches that name. I'm going to type in Azalea. When I type that in, I see that there are now 17 items, and they're displayed down here in the section at the bottom. For each item, I can see that there's a plant name. There's the size in gallons or inches. I can fill in the quantity. There's a list price and a catalog price. I can check a box to mark it as net, meaning that this item cannot be discounted any further than the sale price. There's a camera icon, which we'll come back to later. We'll use it to upload images for individual inventory items. And there's a trash can in case I want to delete the whole row. Or if I didn't want to just delete the row, but mark it as inactive, I could set the quantity to zero. If I hit this plus sign on the left, I see that there's a whole bunch of extra data that I can fill out. I can fill in a height range, spread, if it's a palm tree, I can fill in clear trunk and total wood. If it's a flower, I can fill out the flower package. I can give comments. And the last thing here are the optional attributes. Optional attributes include things like bald and burlapped, espaliered, trellised, pretty much anything that you can think of. And I can choose one of the items out of this list, or I can start typing a little bit, and it'll fill in things that match what I typed. The last thing that I can change is the plant name itself. If I just hit this text that has the plant name, it allows me to type in something else and it gives me autocomplete on the other plants that are in the database. So I could type in Azalea Encore Empress and get that plant. If you don't know the scientific name for a plant, that's okay. We have a database that knows about all kinds of common names and trade names for plants. Once I've made changes that I'm happy with, I can scroll down to the bottom and hit either save to save the changes, or if I want to undo all of them, I can hit cancel changes. I'm going to hit save. The last thing that I'll see on many of these items is that below all of the detail information there's a box that says original text. This is the original text from the data that was in the email that the nursery sent to plantbid.com. When we received that email we read the Excel file that was attached to it and converted it into this information here. And then the, inf the information that was in the original email is shown here below. So you can go back and, and line up what's shown on plantbid.com's inventory page versus what was originally in the Excel file that you emailed to plantbid.com. The other major thing that I might want to do on the inventory is upload images. 
So if I take this uh, icon here, I can hit that and it takes me to a new page. This is the upload image page for an inventory item. It tells me the plant that I'm looking at and the specs that go with it. If I want to upload an image, I hit choose file and then navigate on my computer to find the image that I want to use. I'm just going to use this one right here. Once I've chosen the image, I can hit submit and that uploads it to the site. Now whenever a landscaper searches for a rhododendron conversation piece and this nursery's inventory shows up in the results, they'll be able to see this image. Also, if landscaper, any landscapers had submitted an image request for this particular nursery item, when this image is uploaded onto the site, they'll receive an email with a link to this image as well, so they get to hear about the updated image right away. When you're done with the image, or if it's become out of date and I want to get rid of this image for this plant, I can hit clear and it goes away. Well, that's pretty much it. We've covered how a nursery can update their inventory and upload plant images onto plantbid.com. Check back soon for other tutorials. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you.